Okay, so we're still looking at uh, accuracy of pipetting and we can actually measure accuracy a little bit more precisely using the balance. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through and give Fleur some instructions and she's going to talk about how you choose the right pipette for the volume that you want to transfer. She's going to show the dispense, talking about dispensing and um, taking a sample again and dispensing. Also how we use the balance and some steps on correct storage of the pipette. Just to further reiterate um, the information that we've given in the other sections. Okay, so Fleur, if you can select the appropriate pipette to deliver 400 microliters of the blue solution and weigh it on the balance, that would be great. Okay. So I'm getting this pipette. So what pipette, let's see what pipette Fleur has got. So if I read the top, it says from 100 to 1000. And basically this pipette will deliver between 100 and 1000 microliters, okay? So if you set it to 100, so there's only three, three um, decimal places, 100 means that it's delivering 1000 microliters or one mil, okay? Okay. So Fleur has set it to... So how much did you ask? 400. 400, okay. So, so I set it up on 40. On 40, yep. Mm -hmm. And so 40 will be delivering 400 microliters. Okay. okay. Let's try. So first I need to put the... So, yep, placing the weigh boat onto the um, balance and then we need to tear. So basically we're taking the scales back to zero um, so we can accurately weigh the volume that you're going to transfer. Just reminding you, um, taking the appropriate tip. So we're using the one mil pipette so the tip is quite large closing the lid to protect the tips in there, selecting the solution, pressing to the first stop, aspirating, and then expelling into the weigh boat, pressing all the way to the second stop to make sure you get all the liquid out, and then discarding the tip. Hmm. So I might, well done. Oh, okay, so we can see the weight here, so we can see how well Fleur has gone, and it is 0. 0.5. 395. Now there's a bit of shake here from the air conditioning. So, okay. yeah. So normally we would actually have people do this somewhere between five and 10 times, and then you can work out your average um, for how accurate you've been. The other thing I, we probably haven't mentioned is, is that when you do um, take up the liquid, you, you actually need to insert the tip into the liquid far enough so you don't draw up bubbles and storage of the pipette, you'll notice that we've got them on a rack over here yeah. and we'll now go through and demonstrate um, some of the things that you don't do.